Hi Cancerians, this is Mary Shini my channel Shaluka. Let's see what is the situation of that and what you need to care for me right now. Cancerians out there. Some of the rising weeds. What is it that you need to care for me right now? Just one last thing. Cancerians out there. Alright. What is it that you need to hear from me right now? This one. Your first card is the two of pentacles. Alright. It seems like some of you are struggling. Could be with your finances. Alright. Um, whatever the situation is. You're pretty much hanging in there. But I see you having the courage to handle the situation. All right? Um, if you look at this person, in the traditional deck, this person is um, standing on one foot, okay? Juggling these two coins. He's standing on slippery rocks, okay? There is a storm which is going on behind him. So, oh, the situation is messy, yet, this person is prioritizing, holding on to these two points. It is important for him to not let it slip out of his hands. So how much ever difficult it is, you are hanging in there whatsoever. And that is a courage which I'm picking up on. You, you have that inner, uh, you know, build up. Like, you know, you build for this. You can fight this situation you you know you have the belief that you will get past this okay so you firmly believe in yourself that you have it in you to make this work okay to hang in there as long as it takes some of you might be dealing with a capricorn or probably a leo all right It's like everything is going to be alright. Everything is going to be alright. <laughs> I'm just laughing because um, there is this Hindi movie, alright? Bollywood movie. All is well. Three idiots, sorry. <laughs> so there is this verse which they keep repeating to themselves when everything is fucked up. They're like, all is well, all is well, all is well. So that's, that's how I feel uh, Cancerians right now is like... You know, consoling themselves or convincing themselves, everything is going to be all right. All is well. All is well. All is. And that's a beautiful movie. All right. If you haven't watched it, to the Indians out there, or um, you know, I think it's on Netflix, so you can watch with the sub uh, subtitles. Fun movie. All right. So, uh, yeah. So this confirms as well. Five swords. All right. Uh, it's a lost battle. It seems like it's a lost battle, but you are not giving up. Okay, you are still willing to fight the fight as long as it takes. Okay, some of you might be dealing with an Aquarius. Your second card is this one. Even when you don't know where things are going to go, there is so much uncertainty about this. You're still going to hang in there. You have no idea what is what is there waiting for you in the future what you know you, you don't know about this uh scenario which you're in what is going to be the outcome still you're willing to hang in there yes and wait okay whatsoever is the situation you are willing to put in your uh bit all right you're going to do your part and wait okay because seven of pentacles is a waiting energy but the moon card is all about uncertainty, things happening behind the wheel, things which is hidden from you, all that. Okay, so you have no clue how things are going to turn out, but you're willing to wait. Okay, and you're by yourself. You see you uh, doing all this by yourself. You're alone on this journey. Okay, and pretty much uh, there is a sense of being defeated, but not giving up. That is that is a kind of, uh, you know, when, uh, when I saw the strength card, you have so much courage in you, even when things are so fucked up. Okay? 
Okay? You're still standing strong. Beautiful. All right. Some of you might be dealing with a Pisces energy or probably a Taurus energy. So you're waiting for things to be right. Cancerians. Oh, I just remembered I'm a Cancerian. Cancerians. What is your next card, please? What is your next card, please? This one. Queen of Cups, which is our energy. Okay? Mm. Gemini or a Cancerian. I'm a cusp of yeah, exact uh, this card. Mm. So some of you might be dealing with a Gemini or probably another Cancerian, but I feel like this is your energy. The story is about you. All right? It's once. You're waiting for this to come your way. You're waiting. You know, I showed you earlier the Seven of Pentacles. You're hanging in there, you're waiting for things to come through, and what are you waiting for is the Ace of Wands. And they wanted me to see the next card, which is the Ten of Pentacles. Lovely. Uh, so whatever this is, it has huge potential. It has the potential to give you stability, security, everything which you wanted, a future, something with a foundation, you know, you can build up on this. Okay? So it has... You know, so much attached to this. This could be a job opportunity. This could be a marriage proposal. Whatever it is, a business partnership. Whatever it is, it has potential to uh, give you this abundance which you always wanted. All right. Is this the next card? I'm going to leave it there because I like the card. All right. Concerns, uh, I just saw the Eight of Wands, okay? Although I kept shuffling, I saw the Eight of Wands. So it is coming. All right. What is your last card, please? Concerns, Elder, what is your last card, please? Eight of Wands is about communication, about travel, about things moving forward, all that. So I, I see things moving forward for you. Okay, people reaching out, all that, you know, however it makes sense because the Ace of Wands is coming your way. Your last card is this one Ten of Swords. Ooh, oof, 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 the wheel. All right, I got that. No, 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 no. Just wipe out the expressions which I just gave you right now. All right, you might have been. Mm. Uh, these the set of readings just died. Okay, I don't know what's up with them today. Everything was complicated. It's just not bland. It's just you know too much. It's 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 not direct. They want me to really use my intuition to the extremes because you know I don't, I don't know who is a guide today. Is making it difficult. Okay, or just playing with me. Uh, I'm just going to be very blunt. They're uh, playing with me today. And I accept the challenge because it's it's tricky, but it makes me learn. Okay? Okay. Alright, so the way I look at it, uh, ten of swords, things came to a complete dead end. Alright? And I'll explain on the way so you can learn. So Ten of Swords, this is how things are right now. But this is going back to the very beginning. Okay? I, I, I told you, you are juggling with the situation. And it was messed up. Still, you're not willing to give up. This is how bad things were. Okay? It's almost like things have slipped out of your hands. But yet, you know, you are not, you know, giving up. When I picked up the fire swords energy, I, I told you, you know, you're still fighting. Yeah, you're still putting up a fight. You are just not giving up. This is how bad things are. Okay, when I'm looking at the devil's energy, it also speaks about the could be a person whom you're dealing with is like the devil. 
okay? Toxic. Or you clinging on to this energy is toxic. But I don't get that. Okay, somehow, because the initial, they showed me the courage and everything is going to be all right, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I feel like when things ended, okay, it's going back to the beginning, all right? When things ended, it felt like the person stabbed you in the back. You know, you, you felt defeated, you felt, you know, betrayed, all that. Yeah, literally dumped you. Okay, if it's a relationships reading, a person could have dumped you. Okay, the person acted like the devil. Okay, toxic, negative, you know. Let's just keep it to myself. All right. Mm, so that's the kind of person whom you're dealing with, okay? Ten of Swords speaks about uh, the whole cycle coming to an end. This is how, you know, things are right now. But that cycle is going to restart because we have the wheel, okay? It was toxic, but then they're showing me the wheel. Okay, this is an extra card, I guess, yeah. So they're saying a new cycle will begin. Okay, something will come through. This doesn't have to be a relationship situation itself. All right. If there was some kind of a toxicity, like you know, and uh, things came to an end, something is beginning for you. The wheel is turning in your favor. All right. However, it makes sense to you because the ace is coming your way. The ace of wands. And this was attached to the Ten of Pentacles. So whatever it is, it is good. All right? Because Ten of Pentacles is a 10. Okay? It speaks about abundance. Here, a cycle is ending. Okay? Whatever the cycle was from previously, that is going to be something of the past. And a new cycle is beginning for you because the wheel card is a card number 10. Okay? A cycle begins from zero. It ends at 10. So I see... For you, a new phase is beginning. And this is what you were aiming for. So all is going to be well. Okay? That's it. Yeah. This is something that you were uh, like um, obsessively wishing for. Yeah? For swords. You know? You can't get past this. You know, somehow you were attached to this energy. I'm just going to break the deck here, just for the heck of it. Um, uh, it could be also, you know, something new will come your way, which will make you be done with this energy. Okay, whatever this toxicity is, which you're attached to, that will be released. Okay, I'm just going to break the deck here. Some of you are going to be dealing with a, a Capricorn or a Libran or probably a Gemini. That's it. Seven of Cups. So much uh, options. Okay. This also speaks about optimism. But the way I picked up is you will have options. Okay. If you think this was the only option, there are other options which is coming your way. All right. Because. The wheel is turning. Uh, again, some of you might be dealing with a scorpion. That's it for now. This is Marishi. You're my channel. Until next time, bye bye.